Hi everyone and welcome to Positively Kimmy. I am Kimmy. If you are new here, welcome. This is a safe space. And if you're one of my returning subscribers and my besties. Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today I'm doing a get ready with me. Well, not really. I'm doing an eyeshadow palette from the mystery box that I had received from ColourPop. And I'm going to use the Sorbet palette, which is this. I think it would look okay with the red. I might be changing my shirt later to white, so we'll see. And I can get up close and personal and just do like a tutorial, you know. I was going to use the other palette first, but I've been wearing it so much that I need a little bit of a change. I already have my base on and lipstick on my teeth, so we're getting right back on track. Um, and I have my base on. I have everything done. I primed my eyes, so we're just going to get started with this now. This has four colors in it, and I'm going to use all four. So you can see what it's really like. So first I'm going to grab a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to go into the lightest color, which is right here. Then I'm going to do this in my crease in my outer third. This will go on my inner corner. And this, of course, will go in the middle of my lid. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, and of course, I don't have a mirror. Let me get a mirror. Sorry about that. I had to go get my mirror. So... I'm going to put this right above the crease and I'm just going to tap it on like so. And that's a lot darker than what I thought it was going to be because that was the lightest color I picked. And then we're going to do windshield wiper motions to blend it in. And let's see, can you see? And we're just blending and tapping. So I hope everyone's having a good Sunday today and you're enjoying the rest of your weekend. Here in New York, it's a little on the chilly side. This is very, very pigmented. It's a little on the chilly side. Um, so, but it's beautiful out. It's beautiful and the sun is shining and it couldn't make me any happier. Okay, so that's all we're doing on that side. And like I said, that was the lightest shade in here. And it was a lot more pigmented than I thought. So I'm going to go above the crease. And I'm not going to put on false eyelashes. I'm just going to do mascara and a little bit of liner. And then we're going to do our windshield wiper motions. I don't know why that side always... You know how you always have one side of your eye that comes out better than the other? I don't know why that is. And it happens with my eyebrows too. Because this side is much more bushy than this side. Even though they've just been recently done. So I will put this over here so I can see. And I like the way this is coming out better. So I'm just going to continue to blend this one. And then I will start with the different color. Okay, so I got it blended to where I actually like it. Um, and I think it's pretty. So I'm going to... And it blends beautifully. It's just that it was a lot more pigmented than I expected. So now I'm going to use a smaller fluffy brush to go into my crease. And we're going to use the darker color on that. And we're going to use just a little bit of it. <laughs> and make sure, you know, I'm going to go the outer V. Because that's where we want the darkness. That was a little too light. There we go. Um, so yesterday I went shopping. I, was, I went to Walmart. And had myself a nice huge panic attack by the time I got out of there. It was absolutely horrible, y'all. It was, I was a mess. Uh, my sister was with me. My ex-husband was with me. And I got separated from them, which is fine. I can shop by myself. I'm a grown-up. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. Some people who have anxiety aren't okay with that. They need to have, you know, see whoever they're with. And that's fine as well. You know, there's no rhyme or reason to panic attacks or mental illness or anything like that. And all of a sudden... I just got, there was a long line and I get very nervous when there's a long line and I'm doing self-checkout. So from now on, self-checkout is a no for me. Um, and there were these girls on the line who were being very disrespectful towards me and they're like, oh, look at her with that big basket. She thinks she's got money to pay for all that. And it was just, it was rude and it was very upsetting for me. 
And then I got really nervous because I'm doing self-checkout and I'm putting things, I'm checking out a certain amount that fit on the, the thing, you know, the, the holder thing <laughs> that is after you scan it, you put it on the, the thing. And usually if you move the item from the thing, then they call over someone because they think you're stealing. Well, that didn't happen there. But I, after I scanned so many things, I put them in my bags and I put the bags back in my cart and that's the way I was doing it, which is fine, you know, um, but they didn't have registers that took cash and card yesterday. And that's how I wanted to pay because I had toilet paper and I had a uh, toilet paper, paper plates that I wanted to pay cash for and the food I was going to use my, my mom's credit card for. So, you know, that that's the way we were going to do it. So this is how that's coming out so far. Um, and so there was this long line of people and people were just getting really nasty. And these two women, because <laughs> they were definitely women, were threatening to beat me up because I was being slow and they felt I was acting like I was entitled. And the more they were talking, the more shaky I was getting. And it's not, like I said, I wasn't afraid of them, but I didn't want to hold up the line and I had stuff for cash and and cards. So I had to stay on the, um, the card aisle first. And then I went to the cash side. And during that time, my ex-husband came over with the cases of water because I can't lift two cases of 40 pack water because like I said, we were at Walmart um, and he's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I'm just getting very nervous. I have to get out of here like immediately. Now I'm going to use some glitter glue and I'm going to put that all on the center of my eye at all the way on the parts that you don't see shadow. And I was like, I just have to get out of here. I was like, there were too many people. They were pushing. They were yelling. There was yelling. There were fights in there. I mean, Walmart can... Walmart is a place. <laughs> it is a place. And it's a place where, you know, if you don't have on your battle shoes on a Saturday afternoon, which why we went on a Saturday afternoon is beyond me. I couldn't figure that one out. But supposedly we had to go then. And um, let me just rub this in and I was already nervous so nervous so that I'm standing in one of the aisles waiting to get out because people are going forward they're going backwards they're blocking the aisle and I, I'm only five foot one and they had the soda on the very top shelf and there was no one in there that could help me and so I and I had asked people and people just like walked past me and were like, you figure it out. They were just very rude yesterday. And um, by the time I got out of there, I was so overwhelmed just with the amount of people that were in that store and the rudeness of those two women towards me. And they saw me talking to my sister. So they said stuff about my sister and they're like, oh yeah, we could take them on in the parking lot. Come on, ladies, I am 57 years old. I am not taking on anybody in a parking lot or anywhere else for that matter. You know, I'm not doing that. And I got sick to my stomach. You know, I had to poop really bad. And like I told you with the Ozempic, when you have to poop, you have to poop. It is really pretty. Um, yeah, that's really pretty. And uh, so I was already not feeling well and that made me a little shaky. And so I'm shaky from that. And next thing you know, I hear these women talking crap. There's a long line of people behind me. I have a lot of things in my cart because it had been a while since I had been shopping. And it, it was just like the perfect storm, if you know what I'm saying. And I just kept my mouth shut. I didn't want to cause more drama. I didn't want to have get into an argument with anybody. You know, um, if you want to sit there and entertain the fact that these grown women are going to, you know, um, because they're having a bad mood, think that I'm acting a certain way when I wasn't, you know, that's on them. That's not a me problem. You know, if they had come up to me and directly spoke to me, that would have been a me problem. But they didn't even have the balls to do that, you know. So, but, but by the time I got out of there, 
I couldn't find my sister. I couldn't find my ex-husband. I'm shaking like a leaf. I'm having trouble breathing. And thank God I had my Xanax with me because of the panic attack that came over me. I, I saw my sister. I'm like, I need a sissy hug really, really badly right now. And she thankfully gave me a, a huge sissy hug. And she did not let go until I let go. And it took me a while. And I was sitting there sobbing because I could not catch my breath. It wasn't about the women. It was about how many people were in the store during that time. How rude people just happened to be that day. And it, it was a mess. So that that's what my day yesterday was like. You know, I usually wait till What's Up Wednesday to tell you guys these things. But since I'm doing this today, I figured I'd let you know that now. So... And that's how, <laughs> that's how, why I don't go shopping during the day. And I usually will wait till like 8 p.m. But Walmart happens to be 40 minutes away from me. The one that we go to. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty, right? And I'm going to do under my eye, my the line. So I'm taking another small brush. And I'm going to go with the first color that we use. Um... Yeah, so I think that it was just a lot of different things. And like I said, it created the perfect storm. And the women just on top of that, just, you know, were not helping my situation. Because I always get nervous when I'm in a self-checkout that I'm holding people up. I don't like to do that. I don't like to be rude. I don't like to be inconsiderate of other people. So I try and go as fast as I can and and do what I can, you know, to make things run more smoothly. And unfortunately, that was not the case yesterday. So this is the ColourPop Sorbet palette. This is what she looks like. I used all four colors in the palette. I'm going to put on my mascara and I will be right back. So this is how it came out. I have my mascara on. I have my, I put eyeliner on the inner third of my um, eyelids. And this is the way it came out. I hope that you like it. Um, and again, that was using the ColourPop, ColourPop Sorbet palette. And I happen to love the palette. I think it's gorgeous and I, can't wait to show you the other things that I've gotten. And now that I found a filming space, sort of, and a little bit of time to do this today, I'm going to get something else and hopefully put out another video today as well. But in the meantime, be happy, be healthy, be blessed, and most of all, be positively you because there's nothing else quite like you. And that makes me so incredibly happy. You guys rock. Love you.